up on top of this bulletin, we're discussing Maharashtra, where just minutes before the election commission announced the dates for the Maharashtra elections, the Shinde government has now rolled out several benefits, including a big bonus for all the BMC employees. Now, this move has actually sparked criticism from opposition parties who accuse the government of trying to sway the voters using public funds right before the elections. Now, many question the timing as the model code of conduct is about to start. Meanwhile, the BJP's Maharashtra Central Election Committee will meet today to finalize the candidates for the elections, while the Congress party will hold its screening committee meeting too in order to shortlist the candidates for the upcoming polls. जब आगामी विधानसभा के चुनाव होने वाले हैं, तो पिछले 10-12 दिनों में 1600 से ज्यादा निर्णय, बहुत सारे फैसले, आनंद फानन में जुमले बाजी और योजनाओं की बरसात कर रही महायुति सरकार, और हद तो तब कर दे रही है कि जब चुनाव आयोग सुबह ट्वीट करके कह रहा है कि हम साढ़े तीन बजे शाम को प्रेस करेंगे, मतलब सबको पता चल गया पूरे महा� तो चंद घंटों पहले चंद मिनटों पहले एकनाथ नाथ शिंदे की महायुति सरकार ने आशा वर्कर को दिवाली बोनस बीएमसी कर्मचारियों को दिवाली बोनस अरे भाई दिवाली बोनस किसी को भी मिले हम उसका कोई विरोध नहीं करते मिलना ही चाहिए मेहनत करते उनका अधिकार है लेकिन हैरानी तब होती है कि जब चुनाव की आचार संहिता लगने वाली उस दिन की क्या जरूरत थी एक महीना पहले डिक्लेयर कर सकते थे पंद्रह दिन पहले डिक्लेयर कर सकते थे महाराष्ट्र का चुनाव एक ही फेज में होने वाला है 20 नवंबर को चुनाव की डेट आई है 23 नवंबर को चुनाव का नतीजा आएगा और मैं दावे के साथ बता रहा हूं कि इस बार महाराष्ट्र में महाविकास आघाड़ी की सरकार चुन के आएगी लोगों के मन में बहुत गुस्सा है गुस्सा क्योंकि असंवैधानिक रूप से एक सरकार महाराष्ट्र में बैठी है दो प्रमुख दलों को शिवसेना उद्धव ठाकरे जी की और राष्ट्रवादी शरद पवार जी की इन दो प्रमुख दलों को इनके पीठ में छुरा घोंप इनके साथ विश्वासघात करते हुए महाराष्ट्र की सरकार बैठी है अब उस शासन का अस्तर होना तय है देखिए महाविकास आघाड़ी पूरी तरीके से तैयार है महाविकास आघाड़ी के हमारे जो घटक है कांग्रेस है राष्ट्रवादी पावर साहब पक्ष है शिवसेना उद्धव जी की है और हमारे जो मित्र पक्ष है इकट्ठा मिलकर हम चुनाव लड़ने जा रहे हैं इकट्ठा मिलकर हम चुनाव को सामने जाएंगे इकट्ठा लड़ेंगे बहुत अच्छा तालमेल हमारे बीच में है और ये चुनाव जिस प्रकार से आज महाराष्ट्र की जनता नाराज है किसान नाराज है दो साल में भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार ने कपास को दाम नहीं दिया ऐसे बड़े बड़े उद्योग जो महाराष्ट्र में आने वाले थे वो बाहर गए उसके युवाओं को काफी नुकसान पहुंचा ये और मैं आपको आज की तारीख में लिख के देता हूँ कि सौ कांग्रेस राष्ट्रवादी और शिवसेना और मित्र पक्ष की सरकार महाराष्ट्र में आने वाली है Well, this breaking input is also relevant to the Maharashtra elections where all the three leaders, Ajit Pawar, Eknath Shinde and Fadnavis, will come to Delhi tomorrow afternoon. Now, the three alliance partners are likely to hold a meeting with BJP senior leaders and Union Home Minister Amit Shah. Now, the trio will take the final stamp of approval for Mahayati Alliance after meeting Amit Shah. So, these are the latest inputs that we are tracking from the ground. Now, the key development areas of interaction in the meeting will be number of seats, etc. to get a stamp of approval. Well, these are the latest inputs that we are tracking from the ground. Now, joining us on the broadcast for a better perspective into the entire situation is Pyle. Very good morning, Pyle. What key issues do you expect to be addressed in uh, the meeting with Amit Shah regarding the Mahavigaz Agari Alliance? Well, of course, the Mahayuti Alliance is very, very aware of the fact that they are, you know, facing a stiff challenge from the Mahavigaz Agari. And essentially, you know, seed distribution is going to be all the key as well. So with most of the seed distribution having sorted out between the alliance, the final approval and the final meeting will take place with the Union Home Minister, Mr. Amit Shah, today. And the presence of J.P. Nadda is what we are given to understand. So, you know, how to go about uh, with the seat uh, distribution, how to go about, you know, the campaigning, what is going to take center stage. A lot of issues can come up for discussion with, with the Home Minister, who has been keeping a close watch and who has been, you know, greatly and deeply involved in the upcoming elections of Maharashtra. Right, Payal Mahayuti uh, Alliance is all set to hold up a meeting. Now, what are the key names that are expected to come f uh, come forward in uh, in place of the seat sharing, especially? 
well of course the seat sharing is not uh, you know known as of now in terms of what numbers it could be but roughly around 150 to 155 is what the bjp is expecting to get 95 odds is something what the shiv sena is expected to get and anywhere between 45 and 50 is what ajit pawar's party is expected to get so that formalization will take place in the meeting that is held today along with amit shah Right, Pahil. Understanding the meeting's agenda and the seat sharing formula, uh, what more is expected out of this meeting, especially in terms of the law, uh, the criticism that this uh, alliance is also facing from the opposition? Well, of course, that's the reason it's going to be extremely important to know what is announced today when you know Eknath Chinde, Ajit Pawar, and Devendra Fadnavis hold a press conference today. Kohina, essentially, they will be speaking about what they've done in the last two and a half years because you remember. They've been at the receiving end of the opposition, essentially saying that it's a failed government. But you know what work has been done. That report card is going to be put out with the Eknath Shinde alleged press conference, which is going to happen today. Comparing it with what's happening, what has happened in the last two uh, had happened in the two and a half years before that with Uddhav Thakre at the centre stage as well. So obviously, they'll give an accountability. Yes, law and order has been a challenging, but you know what kind of steps have been taken? Where the fast tracking of cases has happened. Nabbing of the culprits has happened at a at a quick pace. That's something which, of course, and that will be highlighted, especially with Devendra Fadnavis being under the fire for the fact that he is the home minister of the state. Right, Pal. Thank you so much for bringing in all those details. We'll continue to track the story as the day progresses, and we get more updates on the Mahayuti leaders.